I'm talking about second phase of easing restriction. We could see how like thousands or many, many customers flock to shopping malls all over Thailand, not only in Bangkok, Kun Thep Chai, but from the report that we could see, the queue is quite long and people just flock to the shopping malls. Probably they just want to feel fresh air of department store after nearly two months of closure. So it were a fam it, it, it were familiar scenes through our Bangkok and other big city yesterday with uh, thousands of people queuing up at the entrances of uh, shopping malls and department stores. And of course, the things were made worse by the fact that everyone was required to register. So that means that before one person could really enter the premises, uh, she, he or she would be, uh, we, be required to go through some kind of process that would take quite, quite, quite a lot of time. Yes, and our reporter, Kunat Bunak, yesterday, she was at a department store in the central area of Bangkok, and right now she's ready to join us. How was it yesterday? To be honest, <laughs> it was a very big day for pretty much everyone who's actually sick of staying at home. So people took this opportunity to come out and queue in front of the shopping malls just to get a glimpse of what it's like <laughs> to go shopping on the first day of the reopening after the government has eased restrictions on phase two. So as you can see right now, that was that that is what exactly happened yesterday. So people were queuing up in front of the store even before 10 a.m. So there's one thing though, when you go inside, you cannot just go inside and then go through the sanitization measures just yet. For the first thing you have to do though, is that you have to scan the QR codes and for, from there you are redirected to the Taishana platform, which the government has been advertising and have been talking about for a couple of days before. So when you scan the QR code, that means you're checking in to that particular place and then you have to provide a, your personal phone number and then check in and then you can go inside the store and then that is where you use the gel sanitizers and get people checking your te body temperature and then you can enjoy shopping straight after. For how long so you have to wait in the queue before you could go in, Kunat? Well, because we're the press, we managed to sneak in <laughs> slightly before the, uh, the, the actual opening time. So, but based on my observation, the queue is pretty long though. So it's, I would say it, 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 took like a while before you can actually go in. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there, there was the, there's supposed to be this kind of a directive that uh, each shopper can spend only such a, a certain amount of time in the shopping mall, right? So what happened yesterday? Well, were, were anyone called to leave the, the premises because uh, his uh, her, her time being in there was, was uh, reduced up? Well, based on my observation, I haven't really seen anyone getting chased out of the shopping malls because they, they were staying for too long, but it's mainly up to the shopper's responsibility to not to stay for more than an hour or two hours. I think because of the current situation at the moment, people are too scared to stay for that long. The other way is that when they come into the shopping centers, they, they have a goal. So they will just mm -hmm. go to where they want to go and then they just come up straight away. Mm -hmm. And what is particular length of time you can spend in the department store? Is that time limit like maximum for two hours? Usually, it's at the, the biggest limit would be around two hours, but some people just went there for like around half an hour and then they're already gone. 
Well, based on the the Tai Chi Nat platform, there are there are a few things that you can do here. Is that during the questionnaire? So when we check in, we just provide your phone number, and then you can go inside, right? But when you're done with the shopping, you're done with what you have to do. You have to you have to like scan the QR code for the second time. This is where you are redirected to the questionnaire. So they will be asking you things like how long you've been staying, whether it's less than 15 minutes, between 15 minutes to 30 minutes, or up to an hour. So it is recommended generally that we are not supposed to stay in the shopping centers for more than an hour. For some places might be might be two hours. Besides this, you also have to answer four questions. So it's a yes or no type of question. So it's like whether the store actually complied with the social distancing measures, whether they disinfected the floors, whether the provided the gel sanitizer. So these are the questions you have to answer once you checked out from, from the store here. So overall, you were at the you were at the Central World Department Store, right? Could not connect. Yes, I yeah. I I'm went a, to I'm, I'm Central sure, yeah. World in the morning yeah. and then signed yeah. Paragon during the afternoon. I'm so sure there is the like a in, big in, difference yeah. between the vibes yeah. here. So for for Central yeah, yeah. World, there although there is a very long queue, but once you go inside, it feels like there's not so many people there. Maybe it's because people are a, a little bit re, a little bit hesitant mm -hmm. coming in and and enjoy the shopping just like before the outbreak started. But the the whole scene is pretty different when we're in Siren Paragon. Siren Paragon, there are tons of people in the right. store, and and but anyway. Every single store has a limit. So, mm. so let's say this store allows only 25 people. The remaining people have to wait outside. So that means we might have to wait for more than 15 minutes in order to get inside the store and for the other customer to come out. So we can say that all the restrictions, I mean, the measures and the social distancing requirements are put in place. And we can say that they're taking this very seriously. That's what I would say. So overall, how do you feel with the new normal shopping? Personally, it's a little bit uncomfortable at the very beginning because when, before the outbreak, we just got used to window shopping and just wandering around. But once we got into this new normal phase, we cannot do that anymore. But what I would advise is that when you come in, you must have a plan what you want to do. So let's say if you're coming in just because you want to get something from the supermarket, just go there and then go out just as soon as you can. And and for other things, like for example, like if you're looking for clothes, just know your size and your measurements. Either measure yourself at home or bring your measurement tape with you when you go shopping for clothes. And if, if you're still not comfortable trying on clothes at this time, just use this method for now. But, but I would say that it's, it might not be applicable for every single person because it's, it really depends on how the way you shop, I would say. So these type of clothes might suit me or the other type of, of, of the clothes or the outerwear might require us to try it on first. So this right. depends on how people would deal with the new normal thing. Yeah. <laughs> still quite new right. so probably people need time to adjust to this new normal